Rangers opening up with Trocek, centering Riley Smith on the right, Will Cooley on the left, Ryan Lindgren and Adam Fox on the fence. And from the point, that shot gets through Shesterkin. Rasmus Dahlin, 26 seconds into the game. For Ottawa, and this is just, they just get in quickly and watch how they end up with it. The four check, turnover, and right side of your screen, here it comes, and does this hit somebody, or does it go right through them? It looked like a flash screen, and he took a little off it almost. It was almost like a change up from Dahlin. It just got Igor a little out of sorts, it seems like, because this goes straight in, had a good angle at it. They just need to find a way to put it together, and that's one of the reasons why Lindy Ruff was brought in as the head coach. Lindy Ruff, what a record he's had throughout his career. Benson, number nine, dropped it off. Save! Shesterkin on a good, tough shot. Trocek. Avoids the hit attempt by Greenway in front save. Rangers get their first good chance of the game. Will Cooley all alone in front. And there's going to be a penalty on the on Buffalo, but great job there. He draws a penalty to Trocek. And then this pass, and Rangers move up the late penalty call. Shesterkin's gone to the bench. Six skaters on. Panarin for Hedl. Save. Best chance for the Rangers. Lukanen with a save on Hedl. Boarding call against him. Yeah, this is a great play from Hedl and Panarin. Hedl just ran out of real estate. Greenway is there, number 12 for Buffalo. Panarin finds the lane. It's blocked in front. Rebound save by Lukanen on Zabanajad. As we were told by Lindy Ruff, their team having trouble scoring. He's one of those players that they're waiting yeah. for. Yeah, he's missed a lot of time and injury in his young career, hasn't he, Joe? Yes, he has. Dylan Cousins with a rocket of a shot beats Shesterkin. And the Sabres take a 2-0 lead. Their strong defensive play has led to some good offense. Yeah. Here's, the, here's the play. The Rangers can't get it out. Buffalo takes it the other way, and then this shot is a beauty by Cousins. Just yeah. snipes one right over the glove. Well, this is just a basic cycle play, and certain times you have to do and take what's given to you. The Banajad moves in all the way across. Panarin to Trocek to Kreider, save Lukanen, and he's got it. Kind of held off power on the other side. This is good movement, too, from everybody. They kind of went rogue on it. They got different pockets of space. Eight minutes gone by, second period. Sabres with a goal in each period, lead it 2-0. And Aaron weaves his way in and shoots, save, Lukanen, drop the puck, it's loose, Cooley digging for it. Did a good job against Ottawa in their last game. But hit by Trocek after the release on Dennis Gilbert. They're winning a lot of battles too. Run in by Paterka, shot by Cage Thompson, and he scores to make it three to nothing. That's the man we talked about right yeah. at the top, Joe. Well, it, it starts with Buffalo in their own zone, getting the puck out of the zone quickly. Uh, here, here's Buffalo. That's Thompson on the right side of your screen, and he'll eventually just follow it up. Now the Rangers have four players back. And there's the look again, Brian. Yeah, it, that, it, it happens on the forecheck for the Rangers. That's You'd hope for a little bit more trying to keep that play. And the Sabres now with a 3-0 lead. There's that shot. I mean, he's got nine goals on the season now, Thompson. All of those at even strength. Dylan Cousins and Cage Thompson scoring here, driving to the net. They score again! Greenway off a beautiful feed from Jason Zucker. What a move by Zucker to the front. Greenway was wide open. It's 4-0 yeah, Buffalo. And Zucker does a lot of the work. So there's the play behind. Right there. Just a quick turn by Lindgren, but he loses the puck. And Zucker is able to scoop it up and just turn and take it hard to the net. Got a beautiful pass. It was shot out of a cannon coming out of that. And I think the whole building thought Zucker was going to shoot that puck right 
Lafferty, number 81, able to move it up. Buffalo's Lafferty's fifth team in the NHL. Allenstein with Lafferty. He scores! Oh, my! This game has gotten out of hand. The Sabres with three quick goals, four in the period. It was good work. Here's, here's the passing and the speed again. Here they come. There's Malenstein with a real good play at the blue line, and then Lafferty able to control it and just tips it over. Yeah, not the easiest pass to handle. Lafferty does a great job just keeping it alive and getting something on the net. Malenstein coming through the neutral zone. Time on ice. Rangers pinned in their zone for a little while here. Dalene carrying it deep. Down the boards. And that shot score! For the Buffalo Sabres. Now the Rangers look at that possible offside. Here it comes again. Nope. Wasn't much room there, and Paterka found what little space there was. You can see Quick was down and just over the shoulder. Might have bounced off his. Yeah, of his Either way, there's, that's a little loose in the D zone, especially with you know Jonathan Quick coming in. Yeah, let's see, fan, fans on it first, and then let's see. Oh, definitely. That puck comes all the way over the blue line. Here's the call. At 3.30 of the second period, the play was offside. We have no goal. Now if, he could, now if he could give himself a penalty shot and try and get his <laughs> team on the scoreboard, that would be Trocek to Cooley. Clifton on him. Shot by Trocek is saved by Lukanen. Sabres move it up. Panarin stop it. Here's Zach Jones. Backhander. Score! Will Cooley on a deflection! And now you hear the crowd at Madison Square Garden come alive for the first time in the game. One joke. <laughs> I don't know about that. The Buffalo tries to clear it and can't. And then it turns into Zach Jones, who just picked it up. And Will Cooley in front. It just kind of bounces off of Will Cooley. I'm not sure he even saw this one. But the backhander, Cooley's where he's supposed to be and gets rewarded for it. Yeah, he saw Zach Jones dive down in the corner and keep a pinch in to just try to keep something alive. Will Cooley showing more offense in his game as he gets more playing time this season. And he's really become a good all-around player, total player on the ice. Good effort by Edstrom and a save by Lukanen. Fox moves in. Here's Panarin, looking, pass in front, save, look at him! Oh, he robbed Kreider on a deflection! Well, this is what we're seeing. You want to see more of, if you're a Rangers fan, you want to see more speed with the power play. This is just an epic play for oh, Panarin. Benson, on the boards for Alex Tuck. Lindgren went to him. Quinn fires, they score! Benson on a deflection in front. The Sabres score on the power play. They're doing everything right. And it is six to one. John, they've been opportunistic in this game. And that's a beautiful pass. Yeah, and there's Benson been, coming in. Sorry, Brian. No, sorry, Joe. There's been a lot of pucks coming right off of the wall after a battle or a challenge from a Rangers defenseman that just come right to the ring. And Aaron's waiting, he wanted his shot, he just stick was ready. And that's broken up, racing for the puck. And a save made. BC moves it up the boards. Lindgren playing it toward the net. Sam Carrick has shot save by Lucan in the rebound block. He may have made a save on BC from the side. This is one for the Rangers. Put it in the memory bank when you go to Buffalo in December. Remember what they did here in New York. Scramble, but Lukanen dives on top. And a breakaway chance for Jimmy VC missed off the glass. And that's it. And one of those disappointing games for the New York Rangers.